Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Today I'm going to show you how I make and prepare, listen to this, this dish needs really no introduction, but I'm going to show you how I make and prepare my crispy fried pork chops. Now listen, this is an easy to follow along video, not a whole lot of prep time, you know what I mean, even to cook, it depends on how thick your pork chops are, if you got the little, you know, the, uh, the thinner, the thinner type of uh, pork chops, you can cook those in five minutes. You know, we just want to get those internals somewhere right around 140, between 145 and 160 degrees. Once you achieve that and you got the golden brown crust the way you like it, there you go. Listen, I don't want to over talk it or nothing like that. I'm going to break right into this rating system and then we're going to get to frying. So my rating system goes like this. From one to 10, 10 being the most difficult, I'm going to go ahead and give this a four. Very, very easy to do. We just want to monitor those internals on the inside and keep that crust, you know, nice and golden brown. Outside of that, no more talking, let's start frying. Once your oil is heated up to 330 degrees, insert your pork chop. And for your internals, you're looking for 145 degrees to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that I'm done, you can see, check it out. You can hear the crisp. Boy, this is crispy right here. This crust on here. So we got a, a nice crusted, you know, thick. I had these cut at an inch and a half, you know, pork chops. Uh, they're a little thick. You know what I mean? I did that just, you know, thinking about this video, but ideally you want to get something like even the family pack that they sell at your local uh, grocery store would be good. You know, just, you know, about an inch. That's real, real, you know, that's a key. It helps you get that golden brown and get your internals, you know, right around between 150 to 160. So let me go ahead and get right into it. Boy, this is nice and thick. Mm. Get a little 
gravy on it. Mm. Man, that is out of sight. Listen, you want to put something on the table to make them back up and look at it and make their eyes water and their mouth water, this is it. Had it cut, inch and a half. Awesome. Now let's try some of these uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. Get a mushroom. This right here, this is it. I hope you guys enjoy, you know, this recipe. If you did, please leave a comment. You know, when you prepare it, leave a comment in, you know, down below. And you know what? Forgive me. My whole mouth is like tingling. I need to get like get into my second, third, fourth, and fifth bite. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And I'm out.